We are ready to deploy to production the latest amazing feature of our application. But it's Friday and no one deploys on Friday. Plus, our approver will be away for the next two weeks. So what should we do? Should we miss our deadline? Or should we deploy now and take the risk because it's Friday? If only we could have the approve now and then deploy at a later stage. Well, we can. Let's see how with Azure Pipelines. This is the 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept or showcase a product or a service or yet teach you something and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Just click on the subscribe button right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any future videos in this series. Today we will see how we can approve a release right now, but then delay the actual deployment to another moment. And before going into the technical aspects of this, let's see why we would like to do so. The main problem, if you will, is that whenever you click on the approve button in a release, then the deployment happens immediately. And while this is okay for many scenarios, it may be at limitations for other scenarios. One example is the situation I've mentioned in the intro. Maybe your designated approvers are not available, maybe they are on leave, at the time of deployment. So what would you do in that case? Would you deploy before the schedule or would you delay everything and maybe miss a deadline? Another example is when you have deployment windows that are outside of the business hours. So in that case, you would need to ask to your approver to maybe wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning just to click the approve button. I don't think they will be that happy about that situation. So let's see how we can get the approval now, but actually deploy at a later moment. Let's start the clock and get into it. First thing we need to talk about is how we can enable the manual approval on our pipeline. For this video, I've set up this simple pipeline, which has a deployment job to do the release and refers to this particular environment. Of course, you could have more stages and more environments as well within your pipeline, but let's keep it simple. Let's go to the environment. To add the manual approval, just go on the ellipses up here, approvals and check, and click on approvals. Here, you can add your users, and you can set other parameters like the minimum number of approver if they are required to approve in sequence and so on and so forth. Let's click on create and now we have our approvers set. Now we have the manual approval in place, which means that every time you will kickstart a release process, your designated approvers will receive a notification and they can approve your deployment. But if they do that, the deployment process will start immediately. If you want all your deployments for your environment, to happen only at specific times, then the business hour check is the ideal solution. In the same window, just click the plus and select business hours. And here is where you configure your deployment window. For example, let's change this name. Let's say you want to deploy only on Monday and Wednesday. So you select the two days. You can change the time zone, UTC plus eight for me, and then start an end time of your windows. Let's say from 8 a.m. To 4 p.m. As you can see, the time is expressed in 24 hours. With this configuration, any deployment to this environment can happen only on Monday and Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If I try to deploy in any other time frame, that will not happen. And as you can see, here we have both the manual approval and the business hour check for our environment. And this is where the magic happens. At the start of the time window you define as business hours, the check is marked as successful. However, if you haven't received your approval, then nothing will be deployed because both checks must be completed. And on the other hand, and this is what we are trying to achieve, if you already have received the manual approval, however, we are outside of what you defined as business hours, nothing will be deployed again. So this is how you delay a deployment, even if it's been already approved. And we're done. Let's stop the clock. What do you think of this solution? Is it helpful for you? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you at the next video here at Coder Dave.